The ability to add a new customer on the fly from your iPhone or iPad into your Sage 100 system is controlled within Sage 100 in remote user maintenance. We have a checkbox, a permission for whether or not this user has the ability to create a new customer. Furthermore, we can assign default values for this customer or for any new customers that are added on the fly. And these can be overridden in the application. So I'm going to go ahead and set these permissions. Now that I have permission to enter a new customer on the fly, here's how it's done. I'm going to tap on the plus button at the bottom and I'm going to select new customer. Here I'm going to say add my new customer information and I'm going to call it grocery supply. Then I'm going to go ahead and enter in my address information. And now I'm going to add the contact information. I can copy the bill to information. And I'm going to go ahead and save that record. You'll see that once I've created that new record that I can filter all customers or new customers. I did that at the contact level and now I'm doing that at the customer level as well. And then in order to push that information back into my Sage 100, I'm going to choose the Synchronize button. I'm going to choose Sync All. We're going to go ahead and let that complete its process. And then once that's done, back in Sage 100, that customer record is automatically been entered into the system and there it is, grocery supply. You'll see that we need to have enabled the next available customer number. And there's the data that we just entered into the system. So that's how you add a new customer on the fly for your Sage 100 system using iSales 100 from your iPhone or your iPad.